Today is the 34 Ford five window coupe. Okay. A lot of times, uh, you know, when I'm doing my interweb checking, I'm also checking my email. And people know I buy a lot of cars. And uh, this one actually came to me. Supposedly all steel. He said he didn't know about the fenders for sure. It doesn't matter. I don't care about fenders. Yeah, exactly. This guy emailed me a few pictures of his 34 Ford five window, and uh, I liked it. So me and Aaron jumped the plane. We're down here driving around somewhere outside of Atlanta, Georgia. This is it. Thing on the dash says turn. I guess if it snows, you ain't going to work that day. He's got you a really good run start. Good morning. How we doing, guys? Good, how are you? I'm Jim Harrington, and this is Melinda Harrington. We're in Cumming, Georgia. We got yep. the guy and the decision maker. <laughs> That's, That's right. it. We're here together right. at the same time. Cool. Awesome. Well, let's take a look at this 34. I'll take what's behind garage door number two. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll steal 34 Ford. So when Melinda threw up in the garage door and there was a 34 Ford there, I completely expected that. I just didn't expect one to look this nice. So what's the full story? My dad got this thing about 35 years ago. It's been, uh, it's been sitting in the barn. I got it out and did some work to it, trying to find a new home, man, somebody that'll redo it like it should be done. And uh, when my dad passed away, he left it to me. We really don't have the storage room to have it here. It's exactly what we want. I mean, we cut our teeth on 30 to 36 Fords. I mean, that's kind of gas monkeys. That's one of our strong suits, for sure. The 1934 Ford is a really popular choice for hot rods. The appeal of this car was timeless. I mean, features like a raked body, suicide doors, and a rumble seat. What gets better than that? Clyde Burrow was a huge fan of Fords. Bonnie and Clyde had some fun, and some people think it was bad news, but he lived and died in a Ford. That works for me. I definitely like the hood. That's cool. Got AC. Got heat. Oh, yeah. Will it start? Yeah, it starts. The motor's a little street rotty, but it sounds healthy. The stance is good on it, even though it's got a Corvette rear end. Fundamentally, this is a really solid car. You know, the body looks to be in excellent shape. Steel fender, steel body, suicide door, 5 and a 34. This is a really good car. Is this you? What is that? That is me. That's actually me when I was about five. On this car? On that car, on that fender. One of the cool things I saw was the photograph, and it showed Jim laying on the fender as a young boy, which was uh, interesting because we can see how long it's been in the family. And the cars that say in a single family tend to be better taken care of than ones that get passed around. Well, I was looking to get 30 for it. I got to get it back to Dallas. That's a long haul. It's 1500 bucks there. Um, 22 and a half. What do you think, like 27? Yeah. By the time I get it back, I'm back up to that 30 number and straighten it out. Uh, I'm here, though, and uh, I like it. I like the fact that it's got just an old look to it, man. It's cool. 25 grand right now? You can do 25 on it. Cool. All awesome, right, man. It was worth my trip Thank out you. here, then. All right. Thanks Jim so and I settled much. for 25 grand. That's well under 30 when I get right. it back to Dallas. It's got a good checked lacquer paint job and old school interior. I mean, that's just. It's money in the bank forever. I mean, it can sit there at the shop or we can sell it or whatever. It's it's like having a savings account. We got a flight to catch, guys. Thank y'all right. very much. Thank you. Awesome again. Thank you so much. I'm excited. Thanks. It's going to stay just like that. I'm going to miss it because we have a lot of memories in this car, but I'm happy that, that Jim's OK with letting it go because he wasn't for a while, and he is finally now. So yeah. that's good. So right now we're unloading my uh, 34 Ford from uh, Georgia. Got this is a pretty good deal, I believe. Keys on the floorboard. No problemo. This car comes with some pretty good family history. I mean, Jim Harrington, the guy I bought it from, grew up with this Ford 5 window, and he didn't really want to part with it. How am I doing on the other side? But his wife needed the parking space. And like Jay Giles' band said, Coming down. love stinks. Yeah! I wouldn't give up that car, but then I'm not married anymore either. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I got the car for 25 grand, but just as it sits, I think it's worth 30. So I'm gonna chunk it on the old interwebs and make some money. Movie we promptly. 
Tony, get your camera and make this hasta la bye bye. Because we need to put some dinero in El Banco. So this is a 34 Ford five-window kid. Oh, ouch. Still has lacquer paint. Uh, we're really cool, has kind of a crazing to it, almost like patina, but not. Suicide doors, these are a real cool feature on the hot rod. This also came with a roll-up rear window. These had a rumble seat for the back seat passengers. You could roll the window down and talk to them, or you could roll it up and not talk to them. Oh, me, me. This car looks like it's got some nice touches on it, some different headlights, uh, a little bit bigger. They look like the commercial headlamps. Looks like a Greyhound or a Leaping Dog hood ornament. Just made it the, the original owner's car. This, he knew it was his car when he walked out in the parking lot. A couple weeks ago, some of the guys that used to work here at Gas Monkey started their own place. And they called it Fired Up Garage. Well, we got the old shop. Cool. Well, Richard and I thought we were done with Tom and Jordan, but no such luck. Whoa. Dude, do you feel what I feel? Yeah, go that way. Last time you were wandering around in one of Richard's cars, you got fired. Well, you can't really fire me this time. What are y'all up to? I got all holly. I'll take it back. I can guess what you're up to. I need to separate a wheel and tire. Yeah, last time we seen Richard, he told us if we ever need anything, all we did is come over. There you go. And, uh, I didn't know we needed air conditioning, but, uh... It's pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. I mean, this is the first shop I've ever worked in that had AC. It is nice in here. Best of luck, guys. Look at that, man. Sweeping, cleaning up. Yep. See up in the front where the offices are, I got a dude that does that. Uh-oh. Scott McMillan. Oh, yeah? It's Richard. Hey, boss, it's Scott. Hey, man, what's up? Tom and Jordan was over at the shop the other day. You guys got AC? Yeah, we just got it all plugged in, and, and uh, it's a nice, uh, comfortable 72 degrees Tom, in the Tom, shop. Tom's cold. It's really actually cold. You know, it, it costs a of money to put AC in that big shop. It only costs a little bit of money to put AC in this shop. We figured being a, uh, a uh, respectable landlord, you might uh, put some AC in here for us. No, I'm more like a slumlord. You ain't getting no AC, man. You are starting to make me uh, just a little bit irritated. I want some AC, dude, and I want it like yesterday. Well, listen, we got, we got an old unit we can rig up for you. We'll send it over. It was a busy 10 days for Gas Monkey Garage. Richard went down to Georgia and bought a peachy 34 Ford Coupe for 25 grand. Faster than you can say tripod Tony, it went on the interwebs and sold for nearly 30 grand. That's one tasty profit. What? What?